if I had to identify what I think are our most serious, as our, as our most serious threat, it wouldn't be in the economic area, it wouldn't be in the political area, it'd be in the social area. I think these horrendous social problems that we f face are undermining uh, every other aspect of American life. How would you identify those problems? Well, you, you start out with the departure from the uh, fundamental principle on which the country was based. The fundamental principle on which the country was based, the Declaration of Independence, and then consent of the governed. In 1948, I concluded that the people of this country didn't appreciate this third sector we have that de Tocqueville talked about so uh, much in his history. He said that the most unusual thing about our country was that as people faced problems, they didn't turn first to government. They turned first to their fellow citizens, and they organized some association or voluntary means of dealing with the problem. And I became convinced way back then that uh, this was the least recognized and the least organized and therefore the least utilized aspect of our society for problem-solving purposes. What did, we, what did we have originally when the Constitution was written? They asked Franklin, what have you given us? He said, we've given you a republic, and if you can keep it. Now, we didn't keep it. As a result of various changes that were made to uh, change the re representative character of the structure that they created, we created a democracy. And in my opinion, we no longer have a democracy. We've got a special interest democracy, a, a, a political process that's dominated by the special interests. That's why they can't deal with this deficit. Uh, the presidents, uh, for some time, have recommended getting rid of programs that are obsolete, should have been eliminated many years ago. They can't get them eliminated because uh, there are enough people benefiting from some the program that they're trying to get eliminated so that they can't get the votes in Congress. As uh, Senator Long of Louisiana said, don't cut me and don't cut thee, but cut that guy behind the tree. In other words, cut everybody else but my constituents. Let's take a per uh, look at what President Ford said. President Ford made a very honest statement when he made his first talk to Congress. He said, as, when I was a representative of the Grand Rapids District, I went after every dollar I could get for my district because that was a worthwhile public investment. And then he turned to the Speaker of the House, a Democrat, Speaker Albert, and he said, but I opposed every dollar you went after for your district because that was pork barrel waste. Now, I've seen the federal government balloon to proportions that are way beyond everything conceived by the founders, and it in my opinion, completely in violation of the Tenth Amendment uh, to the Constitution of the United States, which only gives the federal government the power not reserved for the states and the people. Well, the states are just uh, almost uh, satellites of the federal government now.